Hi guys, this is RC from Happy Pie, and today we would be learning how to use the upload CSV function in the store area. Now, when you want to add the store page and we go into the My App section, you will come to the Import Export settings wherein we can upload the CSV file. Uh, when you click on that, uh, you would come to a download sample file for which you have to ensure that uh, the category name, the title, the SKU, quantity and price are mandatory filled in and if these remain blank the CSV will not be imported. So when you click on this here you come to a file like this and you can basically put in your details in this fashion wherein firstly you have the category and a subcategory. So you got a category here so you got two values here in this category and uh, then you've got the sorting order and then the product title which you put here and a description for the product now the SKU number is a unique alpha alphanumeric number that has to be there for every specific product and has to be unique or it gets overwritten so for example if this number F001 is shared by another listing then that would be overwritten by the last one the quantity for the product, so for the men category and the product uh, light women's casual, uh, we have put the quantity here, the price here, the status, whether this is active or inactive. If it is active, then it becomes one. Then the image has to be uploaded here for this category. And this image has to be a path which is not a Dropbox or a Google path and any other live path. And then we come to other variations in this product where we have other options for titles. For example, if you have the men's category and in that you have a particular option wherein you have the color as an important part of the listing. So you can give the title. So it says the option title, if it's the color, then you specify whether it's a required field. So a zero here means it's not required. So uh, in the case of a cart or any other processing, this will not be added because it's zero. If you want it to be added in the cart processing, you ensure that it is one here. And the next option is the sort, wherein you put in the sorting order for this particular title. Now for color, uh, it will be the first title. And then you'll have values in this uh, which would follow. So here you can have a red, a blue, as the first option titles and uh, you can separate the values from the title with these colons and then you give the first title and then whether it is a required field and then the sorting order so for the color title you have values red and blue then you have another title which is the size so so to, to separate two titles you put in uh, these uh, hyphens here and then you put in the title here and whether this is again required or not as a mandatory one and then the sorting order and then in the size you give the various title values here by saying L, M and S which is large, medium and small. So if it is say red you uh, put in one dollar which is P which means it is added plus to the basic price and the sorting order is one which means if the color is red you will add one dollar to the price and it's, in the, uh, this, it's of the sorting order one so it will appear first. Uh, the second value is blue so if it is blue then you will add one dollar again because it says p and it's in the sorting order two now I'll come to the next title here and it says size and it's a required field and it's uh, the number two title so it's in the sorting order two the values of size would be l and when it is l you are adding three dollars to the price by saying three p and then the sorting order one the next value is M and if it is M you are adding two dollars because it's P and then it's in the sorting order two. The third value is S so you are differentiating the values with these dashes and uh, you are saying that you will add one dollar P plus to the basic price if it is small and this comes in the sorting order three. So once you've done this uh, the next thing you need to put in is the weight and any other units that you want to share and you can even leave this blank if need be. Here you're supposed to put in the category or the subcategory image. Now if there's a subcategory image then you have to ensure there's a pipe between the category and subcategory. The pipe is basically uh, this particular character here. So you have to separate the category and the subcategory with a pipe and you can give a path for the image there. And yeah, it's done. So uh, now finally when you've put in all your data here, you are supposed to go back 
and upload the CSV file by clicking on this one and it gets done.